Today, we're going to talk about automating revenue recognition processes within NetSuite and within zone billing. I'm Owen Carlson, your ERP coach. Before we talk about automating revenue within zone billing, we want to talk real briefly about what automating revenue within NetSuite natively looks like. So NetSuite has a series of bulk processes that are run. It's called Update Revenue Arrangements and Recognition Plans. And there are two different settings that you can have, and those are going to be found in Setup Accounting accounting Preferences around the automation of how often these bulk processes run. You can choose manual, which means that every so often, whether it's once a month or what have you, there's someone coming to this page and they're going to click the first button, which says update revenue arrangements, and that's going to kick off a process. Then once that process is done, they can update the revenue plans, which will kick off a secondary process. Now, if you want to automate that under accounting preferences, there should be a section for advanced revenue management, and you can set your revenue arrangement update frequency to automatic. When you have it set to automatic, you are going to get this every three hours. Within native NetSuite, the first thing that I think about around automation of revenue recognition is simply just automating the standard processes that create the revenue arrangements. Now within zone billing, we have a similar feature. It's not an accounting preference. You do have to set it up, but you would go to set up automated processes and you can create a new automated process, which we want to set up. Now, Zone Billing has the ability to automate several different processes that are run in the application. The first thing that we have to do is select which Zone Billing process are we going to be automating. And in this case, it's the Update Revenue Details process. Now I need to give it a search. And this search is going to be a search of subscriptions. It could be you know, other types of searches if you want. But for starters, we just need to give it a population from which to run. And now it comes to setting a frequency and an interval. And in this case, we might say, I want this to run every three hours, much like NetSuite's process. We're gonna start it today and I can go ahead and click save. So now we've built an automation record. It is scheduled. It's running off of a search of active subscriptions. And what this is gonna do is every three hours, this is gonna pick up and run the update revenue details process. Now I can also come to this page if I wanna see how this goes and run now. And I can just like I come to this page and I can click this button and that will update the revenue arrangements. I could click this button and that will automate the zone processes that need to run to automate revenue. Now at this point, we're at the end of the beginning, right? Uh, of answering that question, how do we automate revenue within zone billing? For many people is as simple as creating one of these automation records, identifying the population you want this to fire against. It doesn't need to have any criteria. This could be the, the full population and the cadence or frequency in which you want this to run. And now this is gonna run all these processes and sub-processes on that regular basis. It's important to make sure that your revenue is correct. And certainly, while you wanna use automation as much as possible, there may be certain times where you want to insert some sort of review process or what have you. And zone billing helps you have different places to do that as well. When we are setting our revenue configurations, we have the ability to set a default approval status on the revenue config. We recommend that the default approval status you have set to approve. What this would mean is that every revenue order that gets created is automatically ready to go out there, hit that advanced revenue module, which is going to take us through to posting our journal entries and recognizing our revenue. Now, if you want, we could insert whether it's a script or a workflow what have you you can come up with criteria and you could potentially flip certain things to pending approval where you actually are inserting an approval process for some of the larger deals because it's rare in business that everything is just going to be 100 percent automated and require no manual intervention the more important thing about how to automate is where to automate and when to automate and making sure that you're not over automating to the point where you're letting errors creep into your general ledger. 
Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, you can visit zoningco.com and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.